Hello everyone, welcome back to the Plunder Den and the conclusion of the battle between William the Kid and Lawrence de Graff. So let's see what happened. Over here, as you can see, the sh ships did get grappled together. So the sloop did manage to catch uh, uh, the frigate uh, and uh, and was able to grapple on. But it wasn't right away. It took them three, three attempts to actually uh, get grappled. Um, so there was definitely a uh, small arms fire going on here. Um, if you remember the uh, Forlorn Hope were at the front of this boat. They moved to the back of the boat to support the free... Uh, the freebooters that were back here. Uh, unfortunately, the first unit of freebooters was uh, destroyed by the filibusters, who were the first ones over uh, on the other side here, a uh, unit of 10 filibusters. Um, but uh, uh, the Forlorn Hope did get over here to support them, uh, and then the Zeelanden actually came across over from the French ship. So there was Several units over here, as you can see, the Forlorn Hope and the Zealand. Uh, neither one of them exist anymore, so <laughs> both of them were destroyed. Um, I have to tell you that they had to, both sides had to take tests. Um, the English were down to a uh, quarter, they lost 25% of their forces. Uh, they failed their test, but they had fortune points, so the French unfortunately spent all their fortune points trying to catch the ship, but the English. Uh, were able to uh, save that fortune point when they really needed it, when they failed their test. Um, but the uh, the French also had to take those tests because they lost 50% of their forces. So they've had to take a test a few times uh, and they both passed as well. So uh, the battle ensued um, and continued on till we got to this point right here. So really, if you look at it, the English did win. Um, mainly because the French have two strike points uh, and the uh, the English have one strike point. So we were playing the encounter scenario and really in this scenario the objective is to do as much damage as you can uh, to your opponent. So uh, it looks like the English did more damage to the French than the French did to the English. Um, well, I just want to point out that the, uh, the French did manage to hit a strike on the back and there was a leak in the boat so uh, the English uh, didn't address that, so, you know, a couple more rounds, this thing might have uh, turned out differently. Um, as you can see, Lawrence de Graff and the sailors and some of the filibusters are still over here. And they're, they're fighting uh, the freebooters, and then, of course, uh, uh, William the Kid and his uh, sea dogs are still ready to go down here. And they lost only a couple, two casualties here. Um, but <laughs> amazingly, the end of Plog, on the other side here, they did actually, uh, <laughs> they did actually manage to survive uh, the whole battle. Remember that at the beginning, they were, uh, they were taking cannon fire like crazy. Uh, but these two were here, uh, and they were able to throw some bombs overboard, and uh, they only managed to kill one sea dog, but they were still, still in the fight. So, anyways, so that's the uh, conclusion of this battle. Hope you guys enjoyed this. This was the first sea battle, but I. Won't be the last, there'll be lots of sea battles ahead. We have lots of different scenarios we can play. Uh, so thank you everyone for watching and I will see you in the next video. Uh, just so you uh, know, we're planning on uh, planning on doing the painting tutorial next. So that's what I'm gonna be working on next. Uh, I'm gonna be painting that temple. So see you then.